Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today, because of Beltane, I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing for my new Book of Shadows signature. We're starting off by tea dyeing some paper. Today I'm using mint, so I'm putting three big handfuls into this little teapot. I always associate mint with a refreshing and renewing energy and an uplifting energy as well. So I think that pairs perfectly with Beltane or May Day. So now, while my water is heating up, I'm just going to prep my tray here. I have this old lace tablecloth that I cut into paper-sized sheets so I can layer them in between the papers to see if I get a cool texture out of it. I added about two cups of boiling water to this tea. I don't need too much water and I'm trying to get the strongest color I can out of the mint that I do have. After I make sure that it's fully submerged, I let it steep for 20 minutes. Now to check on the color. This is as dark as I can really hope for this to be. My goal for this paper is to get a soft light green color. Now I'm just pouring all of my tea into this pan while straining out all of the leaves. If a couple little leaf floaters get in there, that's okay too. Now it's time to add my paper. This is just normal old printer paper. But I'm going to sandwich my paper in between these lace pieces to see what kind of texture I can get. Since this is a light colored tea, I might not be able to see the imprint that this will leave. I'm sure this lace would really make an imprint when paired with a dark tea, like a coffee. And I'm just layering this in an ABAB -A -B with paper and lace in between. Because this tray has a little ring around it because it's a roasting pan, the liquid isn't dispersed evenly, so I'm going to put this in a little pitcher so that I can evenly disperse it. This spout makes it really easy to selectively put splotches on pieces of paper. I'm really enjoying the light color of this tea staining process. Plus, it smells heavenly. With it being springtime, I think it's really important for us to not get bogged down in heavy darkness too much. So, while I wanted to add a little bit of texture and color to my journal, I wanted to make sure it wasn't too dark. But with that, I wanted to add a little bit of dimension, so I sprinkled some Dandy Blend on top. To make sure that these papers dry well, remove as much moisture as you can from them. Then I just popped them next to a fan, flipping them occasionally and they let them dry by the fire overnight. And here's what they look like after drying. They're a little bit darker than a normal white sheet of paper, and I did get some really cool textures from the lace. Now for ironing. Now I'm folding these papers for my signature. But before I finish doing that, I need to print them. Thanks to the Writing Witch for sending me these printables. I've been experimenting with using up dead printer cartridges. Since ink cartridges come in plastic, and the prices are so outrageous, I want to get the most out of my cartridges that I can. So before I did this, I cleaned the connection of my cartridges with an isopropyl wipe. And this allowed me to resurrect two dead cartridges, which I was able to use to print all of these lovely pages. Through the chaos of this process, however, I did get a couple of pages printed on the same side, which to my surprise actually turned out really cool. 
These designs pretty much look cool no matter what you do, though. The writing witch really knows what she's doing making these. The last time I used a tea-dyed signature in my traveler's notebook, the pages were a little bit flippy-floppy around. So I decided I wanted to add a staple to the center this time. So I just measured it out, poked some holes, and put a single staple in the bottom and a single staple in the top. It's nice to anchor the pages together so they don't slip around while you're doing this. And there we have it, my Beltane signature. I really love how this turned out. So this is two different printable packs from The Writing Witch. One of which had some props, and one of which had some beautiful designs. See, here's one that doubled up and looks amazing. I'm really excited to have prompts scattered through my May signature here. So I have enough writing space, and also some ideas in case I don't know what to write about. This was doubled up as well. And these dark misprint corners give me the opportunity for some collaging in the future as the month goes on. And the designs speak for themselves. They are so beautiful. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope this inspired you to do some Beltane journaling. If you like this video, like it. And if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. I put out videos on most Friday evenings. I hope you guys have a great day, and may the light within you shine brightly. Bye!